Barcelona remembers Luca Signorelli in the names of all the different activities that mark its social and cultural life. The great painter is much more present in the everyday life of Cortonesi than the other artists of this land, such as Pietro Berrettini or Gino Severini. In the chapel of San Brizio in Orvieto, Lucas left his self-portrait. He represents him with wavy, shoulder-length blonde hair, brown eyes and smartly dressed. He loved dressing with care and the black color of the garments was an indication of the value and the refinement of the person who wore them. When Luca was born in 1450, descending from a family of painters, Cortona was a prestige center. You could have admired important civil and religious architecture, just like San Nicolas Church or San Domenico's Church, where Beato Angelico had realized his famous announcement in the years between 1430 and 1433. Then other works decorated the city and Luca could see them completed throughout his life. In 1484 he suggested himself with the name of Francesco Di Giorgio Martini for the construction of the church of Santa Maria delle Grazie al Calcinaio. Despite his being an artist in demand, even far from his homeland, Luca always maintained a special connection with Cortona, uh, where his family lived. He had four children, two boys and two girls, and many friends, and he held uh, important roles in public offices. In this street, uh, from 16th century, Luca had his home. Palazzo Casale, Luca had bought a workshop where numerous artists trained, including his nephew Francesco. This is the church of San Francesco. Here the funeral took place and here Luca decided to be buried. In the last 20 years of his life, he permanently lived in Cortona and still today we can admire many works painted by himself and the artists of his workshops. In this uh, little church, but uh, pretty church, located at the top of Cortona, is preserved an altarpiece painted on both sides between uh, 1508 and 1510 and still today is set above the main altar. Luca painted it for uh, the company of San Nicolò, an association of lay people founded in uh, 1440 by Bernardino da Siena, whose uh, scenes uh, were far uh, part of. Outside, it is present a so-called compianto with a wonderful angel supporting the body of Christ. Inside, the Virgin with Jesus enthroned between Saints Peter and Paul. San Domenico, in the chapel to the left of the high altar, is also visible another painting of the artist. It dates back to 1515 and with the Virgin Mary, the saints and the angel is also painted Giovanni uh, di Jacopo Sernini, uh, Cortona's bishop in 1516. This is Palazzo Casali. Here are preserved some works by Luca Signorelli and his workshop. The most important work by Luca Signorelli is the Virgin with Child and some Saints, to whom the inhabitants of Cortona were particularly devoted. The table was painted between the 1510 and 1515, and uh, indeed San Marco holds a model of Cortona which he is offering to the Virgin Mary. This painting is representing the Adoration of the Shepherds, dated between 1509 and 1512. Uh, as we see, there is a shepherd who is talking up with uh, San Giuseppe. It belongs to the contest Giulia Tommasi Baldelli. Other paintings, mostly depicting the Madonna and the Child, are attributed to his workshop. In the two 
and large rooms of the uh, Diocesan Museum, there are numerous work uh, documenting the late activity of the master, with the exception of uh, the beautiful lamentation over the dead Christ, painted by Luca in uh, 1502 uh, for the Santa Margherita Church in Cortona. Uh, it is said that uh, Luca, uh, in the figure of Jesus Christ, tried to represent his son Antonio, who died because of blood. It was told that uh, Signorelli uh, would uh, undress and draw him uh, without, uh, uh, without crying. Actually, Antonio, who worked as a painter in the, uh, in the shop of his father, turned out to be dead after the painting was already been uh, delivered. Other works are of uncertain attribution. His workshop and the role that apprentice painters did is still today object of study. One of the masterpieces by Luca Signorelli, The Communion of the Apostles, uh, 1512, was originally part of a group of three paintings uh, that had to be entered into the Jesus Church. This church is now one of the Museum Diocesanus rooms. The work was located above the high altar and Signorelli shows that he knows the Rome pictorial innovations especially the art of Raffaello, who had just finished to paint the signature room. L'Immacolata Concezione e l'Adorazione dei Pastori were the other two paintings of the group of the three paintings that were located in the ancient Jesus Church. Luca painted until the last day of his life. In fact, he died in 1523, um, falling from a scaffold while painting fresco in Villa del Palazzone uh, in the chapel for the Cardinal Silvio Passerini. So Luca died aged 73. In Cortona, his death caused great discomfort. In fact, Luca was much appreciated both for his civic commitment and for his personal qualities. In fact, we remember his good manners, his generosity to friends and his willingness to teach his students with care.